Please give a warm welcome, chairman of Insomnia Coffee Company. You might know him from Dragon's Den as well. Please welcome Bobby Kerr. I'm going to talk about uh, success not being overnight. Uh, it takes time. It's certainly taken me a long time. I'm not even sure I'm there yet. But um, it's interesting to hear everybody's story. Uh, like you guys there, like some of the previous speakers, I was a, a young fellow at school one time, and um, academically I was pretty much a disaster. Um, when I think back to when I was 16, the only things that I was interested in were girls, music, my friends, a uh, bit of drama maybe, but uh, double max on a Monday afternoon was, I can tell you, very low on my priority list. Um, I passed my junior cert, I passed my uh, leaving cert, passed uh, in, in inverted commas because that's all I did, um, and I went and repeated the leaving and actually did worse the second time than I did the first time. <laughs> but believe it or not, I barely had enough points uh, to get into DIT in Cal Brule Street, which I did, and you know, everything changed for me then around academia, because I actually had found something that I actually liked doing. I studied catering management in DIT, and I absolutely adored it. And it, it, studying and passing exams, I never failed an exam in college, because I really, really liked what I was doing. And I, I sort of threw myself in to college life. And I would say to you as well that, uh, and it's been said before, but finding something you like is critical. It, um, it doesn't matter what it is, and it doesn't matter what you choose. It's, if you like it, don't care about anybody else. That's the career for you. And, you know, if you like it, and again it's been said, it, it becomes easy. The other thing I'd say to you is, have, and, and Willie alluded to it earlier, if you can, get some bit of paper um, for whatever it is. It actually doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be uh, even a third level of qualification but qualify in something, so that you have something that gives you an intro and it gives you an opportunity. So, they're the first two points I want to make. Enjoy what you do and qualify in something. Um, I, when I was in, uh, in DIT, I worked part-time at the weekend uh, as a chef, believe it or not, even though I never qualified as a chef, just to get money for beer and stuff at the weekend. And I, I ended up working in this place called the Peppermint Gardens where I was the chef. And I remember finding again that I loved the hustle and bustle of work in a kitchen, the, the pressure, the teamwork, and the fact then that you were able to use a bit of your own creativity. You were responsible for something. So I actually then was at, a, I remember I was, after I finished in college, I was over at a rugby match in Edinburgh, and I managed to bullshit my way onto an oil rig. I told him that I, they were the, uh, this guy, I met him in a pub, and I said, I'm the best chef you've never had. And he gave me the job, he says, well, you can start tomorrow. And off I went out on the oil rigs, and I stayed out there for over two years. And again, it was a, a totally different world, but I learned the school of life was what I learned out there as much as anything. Um, and then I, 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 I went, and I, another thing I want to say to you, which is point number three, is if you get the opportunity, travel. Try and go outside your comfort zone. Try and go somewhere. And, I, you know, nobody wants their kids to be working in Australia. But you, 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 you really do benefit from the experience of travel. But the hope is that you come back, that you learn something, and you bring it back with you. Because you learn more in other countries and other cultures than you'll ever learn here. Um, but I do urge you to come back because we need people to come back, but we also need people to widen their horizons. <clears throat> so that's point number three. Um, I came back after five years, I was in Canada, America, a couple of places like that, got on great, came back, worked for uh, Beauties for 13 years, and uh, I managed to become the managing director of that company. And then, <clears throat> at, I was 38 when I went out on my own and opened my first coffee shop. So this is one of my point of my uh, uh, delivery here to you is that success is not overnight. So 38, I 
left a secure job, remortgaged my house, and opened my first shop. And I'm delighted to say today that Insomnia has 80 shops, and there's one in Limerick, and we're very happy to be in Limerick. Um, so that, that, <coughs> that um, I also didn't start um, on TV until I was nearly 50. I didn't start on radio until I was 51. I'm only 53 now. Um, so, you know, you can do anything you want. You really can. So, and you can reinvent yourself. I get bored easily. I'd probably say that I was about, it was about five years is, the, is my threshold in a particular job. Then I have to go and do something else. And, and that's maybe not a bad thing. Um, <coughs> so, my, my key messages are for you. You enjoy what you do. Work hard, and this is my fourth point. Whatever you do, wherever you go, wherever you work, work your hardest there. Give it your all. Because if you work hard, you will, you will get success by default. And so never ever leave any job on a bad note, even if they're wrong and you're right. Just suck it up and move on in a positive way. Because your reputation is everything. And your reputation precedes you. So, so even if, you, even if it, it, you have to grit your teeth as you leave a job, do it. But don't leave anywhere on a bad note. So, um, I was lucky enough as well to get into Dragon's Den. Uh, I did four years there. I was one of the original Dragons. I've moved on from it now. Uh, I made ten investments over the, the four years. Uh, I could say I have the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so, not everything was successful there. Uh, the light in the handbag seemed like a good idea, but we never really got it off the ground. But we have some successes with Uncle Aidan's flower, the bin trasher, and a few of those that hopefully we might make a few quid on. Um, so I just really want to share with you that it is never too late. You can, you can be anybody you want, but my four key points are, you know, enjoy what you do, work hard, celebrate success, have fun, travel, and I'm going to have a, uh, leave you on a quote, and it's a Pink Floyd quote. Uh, you can own everything you want. No, you can own everything you can see, and you can be everything you want. So do that. And thank you very much.